I've already agreed, so I'm walking forward. Jen Vox has been leaning on her family a lot lately. Just three weeks ago, doctors in her hometown of Seattle told her there was nothing more they could do to treat the tumor in her brain. They gave her two months to live. It's a short time when, it, when they tell you that, wow. It's, you wouldn't even believe how short it feels. She didn't know that at this hospital near Los Angeles, Dr. Karen Abudi has been working on a revolutionary new cancer treatment for the very worst brain tumors called glioblastomas, the same kind Jen has. These types of tumors are so invasive that until now, there's been no way to get large amounts of chemotherapy through the blood-brain barrier. But with stem cells, researchers now think they've found a way. Here's how. 10 million neural stem cells with a special enzyme are injected into the brain. The stem cells seek out and attach themselves to the tumors. The patient then takes a pill containing a non-toxic drug that enters the brain. When the drug interacts with the enzyme in the stem cells, it instantaneously creates an active chemotherapy drug. The hope is that the chemo will kill the tumors and leave healthy brain tissue alone. The chemotherapy is never going toxic all over the body. It's just being made where the tumor cells are. So in that case, we should have a lot of less side effects. It's worked in mice, but never been tried on a human until this week. Jen is patient number one. First in the world, I would prefer that there had been a few people going through before me. Bye, love you. But Wednesday, on the morning of her surgery, she is ready. <laughs> I'm ready to get it, get her done. Her family says goodbye. Bye, Jenny. And over the course of the four-hour procedure, those 10 million stem cells are sent into Jen's brain to try to fix it. It will be months before doctors know if it works. It's like the first step on the moon, and it would just be the, be the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jen has some smaller steps in mind, completing a 75-mile walk around Seattle. I will crawl it if I have to. And she may also be giving thousands of people with brain tumors a reason to move forward and to hope. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Duarte, California.